What's going on little cubs? You're watching the Migsy Bear channel where today we are gonna wash uh, this uh, glorious PC mouse pad. Now this thing is awesome. I love this mouse pad. Uh, it was about 40 or 50 bucks. I'll link it in the description. Anyway, I drink my coffee here as you can kind of see. I also drink other things here. Um, and it gets dirty because of these things. So I'll be sitting here playing the game, right? I'll be sitting here like this. I'll be playing, you know, whatever. And then a puppy will come up right here up underneath my armpit. Then I'll show you. They'll come up right here, knock this hand. And if I'm drinking coffee while I'm, you know, ASWD -A and I'm drinking coffee and they smack my hand, then that's what this is from. Is this freaking coffee stain right there and right there. I put my coffee right here and the little puppy will come over here, smack it, and then this is what happens. So today we're going to clean this guy. Uh, the reason why I'm making this is because when I first bought this mouse pad, I did not know how to clean it. And I saw online that, you know, people wash it. Well, washing it could be in a couple different things, to me at least. Washing machine is the first thing that comes to mind, which you don't do. The second thing is, you know, stick it in the bathtub and scrubbing it, and that's what we're going to do today. So, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. We're going to go uh, show you how to wash this thing, and then, you know, how clean it, I guess, it comes. So, just a quick review here of uh how dirty this mama is i don't know if you can see it here you got some spots right here got this thingy um got some coffee stains got a bunch of hair i don't know if you can see the hair or not you can see it a little bit so got the hair got the coffee stain here um and i'll just go ahead and get a shot of it like this yeah okay so you get the picture all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this stick it in the bottom of the tub scrub a dub and then we're gonna dry it and put it back in. i'll show you what that looks like here in a minute all righty so here we are in the tub right so this thing is super absorbent as you can tell it takes it a minute to get a little get damp um this is what i usually do i'll run like hot water let this thing get soaked up I'll put usually like shampoo or something, and we'll see what we got here. Uh, whatever this is. So, you know, just regular old dub. And I'll probably actually use this to scrub it, because why not? So we'll just take this and we'll go, uh, 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 double, uh, 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 right? So that's all there. And then we we'll just take this little scrubby guy, get it wet. Get the scrubbing, you know what I'm saying? So, just to give you a little uh, insight here, um, I cleaned this thing like a week ago. So this is a week's worth of filth. So if you live with dogs, I would highly suggest that you buy um, the black uh, extra large mouse pad or whatever, or whatever, you know. And I, I'm sure that a, a smaller one would be easier to keep clean. But this white one I love. I love the, I love the look of the white. And it's cool because I have the, uh, I have a Corsair white case. It's a, a micro ATX case. And I think it, it looks cool when it matches together. I'd love to get a white keyboard and a white, a white mouse. Problem is though, is I live with um, three or four dogs. I mean, if you count Corona or not, she's kind of small. Um, she could be a cat, I guess, but it stays dirty. So just something to think about if you're, uh, if you're thinking about getting one of these things. I think they're awesome. I love these mouse pads. I couldn't say enough good things about them other than they get dirty quick, but that's my fault because I have dogs. So, you know, it is what it is, but. Alrighty, so that's what we're looking like right now. So what I usually do is I just push the water up here, scrub the poo out of it. Now what you do have to do is you gotta make sure that you wash it evenly because if you, if you wash more, like say you wash more right here than over here, this will come cleaner, you know, obviously, but it'll be wider than over here and you want like the even, you know, cleanness or whatever. So we just scrub it up. I'm curious to see how this coffee comes out in these corners because I don't know if I've ever spilled coffee on this before this wash. So we'll see what happens. So that's pretty much it, you know, you scrub evenly. Um, you make sure that whatever you do in one section you do on the other, just make sure you get a nice even clean with it. Um, 
And that's it. So you don't really have to watch me scrubbing the whole thing. I don't think you get the picture. You take one of these thingies, you put some soap on there, and you scrub it until it's clean. So now we're going to dry it. I'll show you how I do that. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like after you give it a shower. What I usually do is I lay it up on a table like this. I hang usually half of it off to let it, you know, not drip on the floor at all. And uh, we take this towel like this. Right? And you just kind of scrub it. And I'll get the light on there just to show you what happens here. But a lot of times you can get it to dry without even really having the air dry. If you're impatient like me. that's about it you just keep doing that I don't know if you can see the difference in the color or not but you can actually get it to dry a little bit quicker if you just uh, scrub it up here uh, but I'm just gonna let this chill for a minute I'll probably come back and uh, and scrub it down a little bit and I'll let it sit like this for about 30 minutes I'll flip it over and let it sit the other way and let this side hang off for about 30 minutes and it'll be good alrighty now it's dry kind of I don't know if you can see right here but it's there's like a a slightly damp line right here that runs across and kind of curves over uh, but for the most part it's dry so what I'll do now is show you what it looks like over on the computer look at Chloe she's a dingle but anyway we'll put this back on there uh, show you what she looks like so this is the final uh, the final product here it's all nice and squeaky clean it's a little damp still in some spots, but that's all right. You know, you live and you learn. You get what you can get. Um, I'm usually too impatient to let this thing dry completely because it doesn't really bother anything, it being a little damp. Um, now you can see some hair on it, and that's going to happen because it's just hairy in here. This is the corner that had the coffee stain, which is uh, pretty Gucci now, if I do say so myself. No more stains. Give it about three days, and it'll be dirty again. But... It's a relatively quick process. You know, you you wash it for five to 10 minutes, you let it dry for 30 minutes to an hour and it's done. Usually I do it right after the gym. That's why uh, that's why I didn't have a shirt on uh, in the beginning of this video. But now I'm about to go to work here in about an hour. So I gotta edit this video. That's the time right there. I gotta work at three. I gotta be at work at 3.10 to start at 3.30. Um, but anyway, that's that. Uh, Thank you for watching the video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, I appreciate everybody who watches these videos. If you have any uh, suggestions, if you if you want to talk to me about anything, comment in the comment section. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. What I will ask is if you didn't like this, tell me why you didn't like it so I can uh, avoid doing it next time. So thank you. Appreciate you. See you guys in the next one. There's a little computy. She running good. All right. All right. Anyway, bye.